Hello everyone and let's look for a new delivery of the series and on this one we are going to look towards the lift brush. This one is a fairly simpler brush if we compare them to the other ones, the, the extend and the cut, that have a more uh, effective range of possibilities and also affect the curve uh, a lot as it changes not just the structure or, or position but also the points position across the space. So that's quite the change. In this case, we are going to preview the lift brush that is quite simple. The lift is just going to basically lift. Let's say that we have a value of 10. Let me just recache the curve so we have a proper uh, set of curves. And you can see here that it's basically changing the position of my curves to a maximum value that I have set before. So if I have a value of one, now all will apply. And basically what it's going to do is going to move every guide that it's under the value of the leaf. So if I put a leaf of 0.1, if there's any guide here that it's under 0.1 of lift, so distance from the actual surface, this reads the skin, it will affect it. On this case, we don't have any. If we go for a value of two, we see that we don't have uh, of three. They are not a single one. So let's go with value of four. Now we start seeing effect. So that means that my guides on this area have a value close to four of lift. You can see it here, how we add or remove the effect accordingly, but this, if I add it on the other way, it's going to reduce and contract the effect. And if you repeatedly add the effect, you can see how the lift is going to try to collide with the surface. So if we do this and we call a lift of three, or in this case four, so it's going to be something like this, while this distance is four or 0.4, and if I try to compress this again, it will have this effect every time that I try to lift and compress and lift and compress. And then at the end, the effect will be something like this, where some of them are lifting, some of them are compressing against the surface. So this is basically the effect of the lift. It's quite useful when you need to do some really specific effects and when you need to have like some flyaways or you want to just remove or add a more uh, closer effect to the skin or remove it from the skin. Let's say that I have the surface brush and I took this one really close. Uh, I have moving roots. I want to root, block the roots in place. So let's say that I have this. It's quite sharp and I want to lift them. So that's basically where the lift comes in. Now we have unevenly distributed guide curves because it was following the surface and it's looking quite neat. Also, <clears throat> on the lift, we have a randomize for values, same as the other one. So we can randomize the amount of values. We have the normal strength and you can reduce that for milder effect. So it's basically just a zero to one and you can increase it above. And Another thing that is interesting here is that if you remove the school points from this, you will affect the tips. So that's something that is quite useful if what you want to move is the tips first. You can see how the tips are the ones that move first and then the other ones. So we can add a bend value. Let me just go down and we can add a bend value that it's going to bend the tips up. This works and the skull points works most with most of the brushes. So the skull points, what it does is that if you have a skull point, it's going to scope per point. So if you affect this area, it's going to affect this area more. And if you remove a skull point, you have the bends or the areas of effect. So it's going to affect more like Yeti kind of grooming where you can affect more the tip and leave the root in point and this will move like a single entity and not by the points. And you can have values like the bend 
that will give you these really nice effects that normally are really complex to get because to move this is really tricky and to have a lot of guides doing this it's always tricky in groom so it's always good to know that even if they're looking like this we can just groom them up uh, in this case the lift is quite strong so i will need to increase this lift to actually be able to affect this but yeah you can see that even if they're looking like this you can add the effect accordingly to the lift and it's proportional to the actual skin so you can have the value across if they're looking like that it's not that useful because we have a really uh noisy curve there and this kind of effect happens more or it's easier to see on curves that are a little bit more standard so this is how the lift work i hope you like it thank you and see you in the next one